Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Sprites are here at DocSports.com and welcome to the update for Saturday, February 19th, 2022. Free SEC basketball play coming up on this report. First quick note, seven star situational game of the month in college basketball goes today on Saturday. It's a late afternoon game and uh, it's available on my homepage at DocSports.com. It's part of a multiple game package in college basketball and it's a situational game of the month. It's backed by a spot or a situation that's on a 91 percent winning run and I do include that spot in the analysis so you can check that out over on my homepage if you wish seven star play leads the multiple game package uh, easy win last night with IPFW our only premium basketball play last night uh, they got the easy 74 55 win in cover over Green Bay and it means we're on a 62 percent run in college basketball heading into this weekend our current run uh, I also have a three star play in the NHL on my homepage we did lose last night 45 and 28 uh, 62% is the current run in the NHL going back to late October. So it's kind of a rare loss for us last night, but we look to bounce right back with the play on Sunday, excuse me, on Saturday. Also wanted to mention that uh, I do have UFC action, two fight bets to be exact. And finally, I mean, I haven't had a fight bet since Nganyu about a month ago, which we did win on that card, uh, but we are in action with two fight bets on Saturday afternoon. Also wanted to mention, don't forget NASCAR, Daytona 500 tomorrow on Sunday. Sunday. Uh, we will remind you on tomorrow's video, but uh, just wanted to mention that we're on a 72 and 39 run at DocSports.com and up over 12 grand for those wagering just $100 per unit in NASCAR. We've been doing NASCAR now for about 25 years, uh, so we'll tell you a little bit more about that on Sunday's video. But again, uh, don't forget to check out my slam dunk bets for the NBA All-Star Week and the slam dunk contest, three-point contest going on Saturday. Let's get to the free play. It is the matchup between Alabama and Kentucky. This game tips off about 4 o'clock Eastern time on Saturday. Kentucky right now laying 6.5 in most shops. There's a couple of the 7s out there. They beat Bama 66-55 to on the road earlier this season. Game wasn't as close as the final score would indicate. Alabama had just 44 total points on the board with just over 2 minutes to go in the game. Again, Kentucky won 66-55. But the Tide, no, they live and die by the 3. I mean, they shoot like 47 percent of all their shots from behind the three-point line, which is crazy because they're not good at shooting the three. They are 310th in the nation in three-point accuracy. It makes you wonder why Nate Oates, the coach, continues to let this team fire away like they do uh, from behind the three-point line. And in that game against Kentucky, the Wildcats, who are fierce on defense, both inside the arc and outside, held Bama to three of 30 three-point shooting. That's 10 percent. Listen, I think Bama will probably hit a few more threes and be a little bit higher percentage in their accuracy accuracy in this game. But the bottom line is, I still don't believe they're going to be able to cover this number. Uh, Ty Washington, questionable for UK, but here's the thing. They come off the loss. Coach Calipari has enough to motivate this team to stay focused from start to finish in this one. Uh, and they do have the depth to replace a guy like Washington if he's unable to go in this game. I'm recommending to play on Kentucky minus the points over Alabama, my free play for Saturday. Don't forget, we've got the multiple game college basketball package led by that seven-star situation situational game of the month and also NHL and UFC going on Saturday slate. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. We do appreciate you guys checking these videos out every day. Click on the like. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And obviously, let's put them in the win column, everybody.